Hey guys, it's Ed Ebenezer again from Samani Enterprise Tutors. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial video. Well, today we are going to be developing um, a Java application that is going to be able to check the check digit of an IMEI number. Okay, so like I have on my screen, the IMEI number is 15 decimal digit, 14 digit plus a check digit. Now, which includes so the IMEI number gives information on the, the origin, the model, and the serial number of a device. Okay, so the computing the sum of digits nine times the value modulo 10 all right so um this is an IMEI number and then the last digit on the right is the check digit okay so like we see here how this is supposed to work now you compute the sum of the digits okay so the sum of all the digits in the IMEI number say multiply the sum by nine and then divide the result by ten note it down and then the remainder okay so um say 9 times 52 now they showed us the sum here 52 so 52 is equals to 4 52 times 9 is 468 and then 468 modulo 10 okay not integer division now but modulo 10 gives us 8 it's sort of like the last number on okay so one thing we should look at is how this works is um first we're going to be um multiplying yes we're going to be doubling um every integer the second integer from the right all right so we'll double the second integer from the right yeah and then um, you double this you double this double this you double this you double this you double this and you double this so when you have um um say more than um when you are doubling you add the digit you like you add the singular digit okay so this double is 14 so 14 you now add 1 and 4 okay to the sum of the digit like here we have 18 you add 1 plus 8 okay so in adding all that 52 then you multiply that by 9 and then do modulo 10 all right so without wasting our time all right guys so um how this is supposed to work is um we're supposed to get um, 14 digits from the user okay so i uh, created a java file called um, check digits IMEI generator okay so what we're going to have is first of all we're going to have um, we're going to have to get the user to impute a 14 um, length of IMEI code all right um, so scanner new scanner so because we're going to be getting you know um, we're going to be getting an input from the user I have to use a scanner okay so I want this to now say System dot out of print line enter a fourteen digit IMEI number to generate the check digit. Okay, so we can um, as well have a simple indicator and say IMEI check digit generator. All right. Now having that, we are going to um, um we're going to receive it a string input now will be equals to a scanner dot next line. Okay. So the first thing I want us to check is I want us to be able to check the length. So if it is more than 14, then it is not valid. So input dot if input dot length is greater than 14, then we are going to say And input length is more than 14. Please rerun application again. So if it is not more than 14, okay. So um, first of all, let's. Um, so if it is greater than 14, or all right. Oh no, uh, so I have to get uh, my screen keyboard. Okay, because I just remembered um, that there's a possibility that these are my enter less than 14 digits. Okay, so in order for us to cater for that, I'm going to bring that all. Okay, so if input dot length is greater than 14, or input dot length. Okay, 
if you don't get less than 14. So if this is greater than 14, this now um, probably is less than 14. So input length, input length not that okay input length not 14. Please rerun. Alright. Now the next thing we want to do is if it is accurately 14, and okay, so we're going to have an integer called um, um check digit. Okay, I'll we'll call this generated check digit. Okay. Then we're going to call a method called get check digit. Alright. And then we're going to pass in um, input now. Okay, what we got from the user, right? So we've not yet created this method. Okay, so when we get this, then I just want to say that check digit. Okay, so the check digit will be will display the check digit, and then another thing will display is the complete IMEA number. So we say complete IMEA number. Okay, so we'll just do input plus. Okay, so this will display the value of input, then um, concatenate it with the generated. Okay, check digit. Okay, so I want to create the method get check digit. All right, so in order for us to get a check digit now, like it showed in our picture, um, we want to be able to get. Um, we want to be able to get the sum of all the digits okay and then remember that we're supposed to multiply the second digit starting from the right okay so the second digit starting from the right so he, again i'm just going to have sum okay sum will be equals to zero okay and then we're going to have a for loop all right now the essence of this for loop is for us to be able to loop through is for us to be able to have a counter that will help us to have a, um, a loop that will help us in um, looping through the digits of the IMEA number. Okay, so say we have an IMEA number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, we want to be able to double these guys. Okay, just the second ones. The second digit started from the right, okay. So, we want to be able to double this, okay. Now, in doubling that, what we're going to do is we're going to get what I like to call a substring from the input. So, we want to be able to get a single digit every time during this loop. So, we're going to have string, um, okay. I'll call this digit string, okay. So I'll call this digit string. Okay, this will be equals to input. That's this dot substring. So the beginning in the counter and the end index will be counter plus one. Okay, so what this does is that it gets us the exact value of this. Then it gets us when the loop goes on, it gets us the exact value of this the third loop the exact value of this and then and so on and so forth okay now the next thing i'm going to say is we want to convert this since we've been able to get a substring of you know one of the digits but this is a string so we want to be able to convert it to we want to be able to convert it to an integer so int digit now the actual digit will be equals to integer dot value of okay the digit string now, since we've gotten that, the next thing we want to do is, um, do you remember that I said we want to double this ones by the right again? So, if you pay attention, 13, what we're going to be using is 13 modulo 2 would be 1. So, we wouldn't want to double this, okay? We would want to double, we wouldn't want to double this. And then, what is common between them is that uh, there are any of these digits, modulo 2 would always 
the ones we do not the ones we do not want to um, the ones we do not want to double will always give us zero. But the two of them will give us zero. So what we can say is if counter okay modulo two will be equals to zero. So counter for digit like um the twelfth digit, the fourteenth digit, the um, tenth digit. Okay, we do not want to. Um, we do not want to. We do not want to double that. So we we'll just add them directly to the digit. Okay, what we actually want to double is any other one like the third digit, the fifth digit, the seventh digit, the ninth digit. Okay, those are what we want to double. Okay, so what we do here. When I say sum plus equals to, I'm going to come up with, um, I'm going to come up with a method called sum of digit, and then I'm going to pass in digit. Okay, so I'm going to pass in this digit. So if it happens that this digit happens to be in the location of probably the third digit, the fifth digit, you know, that I would want to double. Okay, so then I will create this method called sum of digit. Okay, so let me um, quickly just um, create this. So sum of digits would um, rightly here. Remember, we've not doubled it. So what we are going to do in order to double it, so we're going to say digit is equals to, or we can say digit times equals to two. Okay, and then we're going to have another variable called sum. Sum will be initialized to the value of zero. Now while we're going to have a while loop. So if you've not seen my video tutorial on the while loop. I'm going to drop in the link below. So while digit is okay, while digit is greater than zero, sum plus equals to digit modulo ten. All right, I'll explain all this as we go, and then digit um, division division ten. But right, now, how this works is let me explain. How this works is um, some. Now, how this works is we have, we have doubled this. So, say we had nine passing here, and then we have eighteen now. So, why did it is greater than zero? Okay, sum plus equals to digit modulo ten. Now, this is going to give us okay. So, remember, digit is eighteen. All right. So, eighteen modulo ten will give us eight. So, sum plus equals eight. So, now sum. All right, so now sum will be equals to zero plus eight at the first loop. Now digit will then be okay. So digit will be equals to what? Digit integer division ten. So this is eighteen. So eighteen integer division ten will give us one. So on the second loop, second loop, what we have is sum will be equals to eight plus. Okay, so um, one modulo ten will be one, so this will be nine, and then digit then will be equals to what? One integer division ten, that's zero. Okay, so this would now hold the value of nine, and then we'll return nine back to here. This that called the method. Okay, so that works in order for us to be able to add a two, you know, a two size or two length integer like this so when we double the number like nine and gives us 18 we should this method helps us to add you know the first integer plus the second one and then returns it to the else statement that's calling it above so i'm going to be deleting this but just in case this code is too much for you to type do not forget i'm going to be having this on my github repository so you can always go there and um, you know download the code uh, and then put it as you like in your id and then you can tweak it Okay, so bringing us back um, up to speed here. Now, remember when we were saying that in order for us to get a check digit, you have to multiply your sum by 9. So, we're going to say sum multiply equals to 9. And then what we have to return is the modulo. So, sum modulo what? 10. Okay, so now in doing that, um, we'll just close our scanner right here. Is kind of but close. Okay, so let's run. So run as Java application. 
Okay, so you have 14 digits, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, so the check digit is 3, and then the complete IMI number is, remember, it's 412, so 4123. So you can use this, um, you know, to check um, for the check digit of an IMI number. So the next application we're going to be doing is, instead of checking for um, the check digit, we're going to be developing an application that would automatically generate valid IMI numbers okay so guys thank you for watching please if you have any problem understanding this let me know in the comment and um, i'll be able to help so thank you guys for watching do not forget that hands-on is better than you learning every time so do continue hands-on and then keep it up and god bless you